Hello everyone, my name is Carla Garcia, Hort America's Technical Service and Consultant and we have a new video in this section called Solving Problems in My Farm. So today we are going to learn on a little bit more about how to select lambs. Uh, I want to show you an example of uh, the journey when you are buying a lamb, I mean when you look for um, different options and uh, what is the kind of information that you should look for. So if you are interested in this information, stay for this video. As you probably know, in Horton Americas, we are uh, consultants and we provide also short courses on different topics, uh, including vertical farming. So I have come across with a lot of students that um, have a lot of questions regarding on how to select the lambs. And it's very common for them to share links uh, so I can check if the if the light of the lamp that they are, they are selecting is correct. So uh, let's, let's do this kind of exercise that I do with them uh, so you can learn on uh, which are the specifications that you should look for and how uh, can you discard, for example, a lamp that is not ideal for your system. So I know a lot of us, uh, we go and uh, look for different products on internet. So let's do an exercise looking for products on internet. So uh, here we have an example of lamps that we can um, find uh, in Amazon, for example. And uh, we can see in here, uh, for example, this is the best seller. And uh, when you buy a lamp, you need to look for specific information. Of course, I know sometimes we want to have just a couple plants inside our house and that's fine. But uh, I know uh, when uh, people work inside of facilities like this one, like a microgreens production, microgreens don't require a lot of uh, light. Um, so it's common for us to go and select lamps that are cheaper and less quality. Uh, so today I am going to show you uh, some of the aspects that you need to look for uh, to try to avoid replacing the lamps very often. So for example, here we have a very typical lamp uh, that we can select for a uh, commercial operation of microgreens. So this is uh, the best seller on Amazon. And we can see in here a full spectrum lamp and you can find information about the spectrum, so that's fine. Uh, but uh, something important is the light intensity. So always look for the light intensity of the lamp. And this, um, uh, this information should be in PPFD, which is micromoles per square meter per second. If you have information on lumens or other unit, we already have some videos teaching on how to do the conversions and how it's not possible to do a very accurate uh, conversion if we don't have the conversion factor that is specific for the lamp because we make the conversion based on the spectrum. Okay, so for example, in this lamp, uh, we can see a lot of information, uh, but we don't have specific information about uh, the PPFD. It's mentioning that it's high in PPFD, but we still don't know uh, which is the PPFD. So now let's check another option. So here we have a lamp uh, that it, it, it does provide information about uh, the light intensity, which is good. Uh, it provides information about uh, the spectrum, which is also good. Um, and you can see in here, so these are the accessories that I'm mentioning. So you can see here the connections of the lamp. You can see it's, an, it's almost like an open connection. So you can imagine if you're irrigating or if you have like high humidity, uh, you know, humidity and water can go into those parts and uh, can uh, make an accident happen or uh, sometimes uh, the lamp will have a shorter life because of the conditions where you have the lamps. So it is important to take in consideration uh, the exposure of the connection of the connections to the environment. Uh, for example, here in this system we have some lamps with this kind of connections uh, so people can, can come and learn about the use of these lamps and we have to replace them very often and by very often I mean like six months sometimes even less because we do manual irrigation which I know is very common sometimes for microgreens and uh, you can end up like uh, putting some water on the lamp and uh, that's not good for this kind of lamp. So uh, the lamps that we usually use inside of these growing systems, um, the high quality lamps uh, will have connections that are sealed. So you can be inside of a facility with high humidity and without worrying about the connections of the lamp. So always look for those characteristics um, because the lamp will function. I mean, if you have like two plants in your house and you want to get those lamps, that's fine. But if you're thinking about commercial operations, so buying a lot of lamps and uh, making profit and everything, so then you need to think a little bit more about the quality of the lamp. And if you want to get a specific information about uh, the efficiency of the lamp, so that is something very important to check. And I will say, I think this is the information that most of the low quality lamp miss, uh, and is the efficiency of the lamp. So usually this, uh, this information will be in micromoles uh, per joule, and we want that number to be higher than three. 
Um, so look for that information. For example, here we have the Horto Americas website uh, where we have our lambs from um, uh, Berger, uh, which is from Aquity Brands. So in here, you can find information about uh, the output of the lamp, uh, meaning the PPFD that you will get. Also, you can see uh, the efficiency of the lamp, which is higher uh, than three. Uh, you can also check uh, the spectrum of the lamp, very specific. You can see the percentage of each of the colors that this sometimes is information that we don't have in, uh, in uh, low quality lamps. And you can also check even the warranty, which is five years. Um, so that is something very important because we don't want to replace our lamps very often when we are trying to make profit of our business. So here we have an example of the information that you should get uh, when you are trying to find the correct lamp for your system. And we can continue speaking about different characteristics of our lamps, but I wanted to uh, keep this video short and straightforward so you can learn the most important information when looking for a lamp. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments below. Please subscribe if you want to continue learning about uh, control environment agriculture. And remember, this is uh, the solving problems in my farm section. My name is Carla Garcia, Horto Technical Service and Consultant. See you on the next video.